Hello there, this is Tim. I'm back for another video on speed testing the original iPhone to more modern devices. This is the iPhone 4S. In the last video, I demonstrated this iPod Touch, which sits in the middle, compared to the iPhone original, the 2G iPhone. I compared it from a stock installation of iOS 5.1 that really was not in use. So I'm today going to be doing a more real-world usage of the iPhone of today versus the iPhone of yesterday, of the 2007 era. So in 2007, an iPhone, you could not install apps, you could not do things like that. And that meant your experience was pretty much the same across the board. Uh, you couldn't do much to make it slower. Now, I've got all these apps, and as a result, the device, I believe, I hope, I, I just, I don't hope, but I believe that through this, I will demonstrate that with the introduction of apps and the ability to do things like that, that your iPhone has actually slowed down considerably compared to this original iPhone that sits right here. So the first test I'm going to do is simply to turn off the device and see how long does it take me to turn off an iPhone, to turn off an iPhone from 2007 versus 2012, 2011 technically. So this is the iPhone 4S versus the iPhone 2G. Let's start the timer. Let's that up there to turn off the devices. And I'm going to release these at the same time. And let's release. So it starts at 10. And that's instantly off at like 12. 11 or 12 is about a second or two to turn off the original iPhone versus its shutdown time of, we're approaching 14 seconds. So about two seconds of 14 seconds in pure shutdown time of the devices. So that's something kind of interesting to note. Now let's turn both on. And you'll notice the original iPhone actually went to the Apple logo faster. So the Apple logo won out there just in speed of turning the thing on. So Apple logo, we're starting from the same when the Apple logo started here. But you can see here how the original iPhone, 16 seconds. And we're still booting iPhone 4S, approaching 24 seconds, which was the boot down time. And we're getting past that to 30 seconds. And we're going beyond that, beyond that, even more, approaching 40 seconds just to turn the stupid thing on. That is, I mean, this is one of the clearest indications of just the complexity of iOS these days. And just what we have to put up with for turning the stupid thing on. This thing's not jailbroken. It's in just normal use. 50 seconds to turn on an iPhone versus, yeah, there we go, 55 seconds to turn on an iPhone versus 14 seconds on the original iPhone. So you can see that as a considerable difference. Now just launching of applications, let's start the timer. Let's just see, you know, let's start up the calendar app. Oopsie, I did not even hit that time. So you can see iPhone is still winning out there. Let's try, say, uh, the camera app. And again, the iPhone 4 is winning out there, again, probably this, uh, around the same time. And the iPhone, it is showing that after reboot, it is actually showing fast speeds. It's about a, a half a second faster than the original. So we're showing about half a second difference here from the original. And if we do just do a speed test on websites, uh, if we do a Google search, say, Let's do a Google search for uh, Apple. Let's do that. Let's do a Google search for Apple. Same Wi-Fi network these devices are on. Apple, Apple. In this one, it says Google. This one says search. Let's do it. And you'll see the 4S about the same, maybe a little bit faster. So that's a speed test there. If we hit this button, about the same. The home button, I have noticed, is more responsive on the iPhone 2G. So with the home button, you'll see it is faster on the iPhone after you have some apps. So same exact pressing there. Boom. You'll notice it is a slower response for this button here that Apple has put in here. If we load up the calculator, same exact time, almost exactly. Clock app. 
once again, it's a slightly faster. So my test is actually showing that, in fact, I, I did, I believed that in many cases the iPhone 4 would be slower, but in fact, Apple has managed to retain the same time in many situations for launch times of apps and things like that. Let's load up the iPod app. In this case, about the same. So uh, basically, this test is kind of proving that I, I'm wrong, I guess. That the only situations where your phone is actually faster is in situations where you're turning it on or turning it off. That is the only differentiator now. This is running iOS 5.1. This is running iOS 1.0.2. So the only speed advantages of the old iPhone are boot, boot on and boot off. So not, I guess that is the conclusion here. And I am sorry for my belief that the original iPhone was faster in almost every way. It seems that it's only faster in the boot time. So as we load up stocks, once again demonstrating that fact, once again demonstrating the fact with maps, and there we go. So, and I'm not sure how much of this has to do with the wireless end support versus not, but either way, iPhone original, about the same, but this is a testament to Apple, showing, app, showing you guys how good of a job Apple's done over the years of maintaining that same consistency throughout. So thanks for watching. I will close this video with a simple booting off of the devices to show you the difference once more. So iPhone 2G instantly off, and we're going to wait about 30 seconds for this other device to turn off. I, think, oh, I guess that was fast for that time. So the longer the device is on, the longer the uh, turn off time is. So with that, thanks for watching. You can find my daily Apple News show over at iWakePodcast.com. That is iWakePodcast.com. It's both audio and video all about Apple News. So thanks for watching. I will talk to you guys real soon in a future video. Aloha.